Here's another quick, quick books tip. It's called the audit trail or the audit log. And what it is essentially is it allows you to see how many times a transaction has been changed by who and what has been changed. So for example, I'm gonna click on the new button here on the top left, and then I'm gonna click on invoice, and then I'm gonna go look at the last invoice I created. So I'm gonna click on the recent transactions button on the left-hand side, and then I'll open up the first invoice I see in front of me. Now, once I'm looking at the invoice, I can see everything that's going on with the invoice, but I can tell who created it, what they changed, who, who modified it, and when the last modification was. That's where the audit trail or the other log comes in handy. So we're gonna click on the more button on the bottom of the screen, and then we're gonna click on audit history. The audit history will open up the screen that will be focused on this specific transaction only, but I can see the entire history of it. So you see at the very beginning on September 24th, the transaction was originally created by this user you're seeing here, and you can see that the transaction was originally $7,500. I'm gonna open up each one of the changes, and every time it's a change to the transaction, you're gonna see highlighted in yellow what essentially was changed. So notice in this case, uh, the user changed the dollar, dollar amount to 6,800. I'm gonna close that and look at the next modification, and look, it looks like somebody added the address, changed the due date, change the terms. If I scroll down here, I can see if there's any changes to the dollar amounts. It looks like in this instance, dollar amounts weren't changed. I'm gonna collapse that and look at the one more change. And then we can see that the total balance was changed. And as I scroll down, it looks like the user added some new lines and changed that and also uh, changed uh, the dollar amount in one of the lines. So anything you see highlighted in yellow is essentially what was changed or what was affected by the change. If you click on where it says compare on the top right, you can see the last time it was changed uh, versus the most current instance. So you can have a head-to-head -head comparison of the last modification the transaction had versus that one. And as I click on next here on the right-hand side, I can actually sort through every single change and I can compare two columns uh, next to each of the changes. I can click on show changes only and only limit it to the specific rows or the specific line items that were changed. And I can also kind of compare those on every single change head to head. So it's actually an awesome place to go look at the audit history, audit log, audit trail of that specific transaction. I'll show you one more thing. I'm gonna click on the top gear menu, top right, and then go down to where it says audit log in the tools column. The audit log is a generic screen that shows you everything that was changed in the QuickBooks file. If I click on filter here and then select the specific user, so I only wanna see what one specific user changed or did in QuickBooks, I can do that. I can select the specific user. I can also say only the things that were uh, modified today and then I'm gonna click on show only these events and I'm gonna change uh, transactions. So just by doing that and click on apply, I can see all the transactions where they change or modified by that specific user. I can click on the, the transaction itself to look at it or I can click on where it says view on the right hand side to see the specific changes that that user made. So I strongly recommend that you look at the audit trail and the audit log to help you understand what's going on inside your QuickBooks file, especially if you're dealing with multiple users. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the notification bell so you're alerted when I create a new video like this. Thanks.